same also that ascended, ascended up far above all heavens. Hallelujah. For what purpose? That he might fill all, all things. Hmm. If he's filling all things and he's giving the measure, wow. Maybe we've been limiting God. Mm. Definitely. Mm. Maybe we have not really understood what grace is. Oh, God. Thanks. And if you're keeping notes, you might want to write this down. Grace is not mercy. That's right. Wow. Grace is not mercy, but too many people are living in mercy. Right. <laughs> instead of grace. Oh. They're living short of the glory. Note what he says, he goes on to say, and when he ascended and he descended, he gave some apostles, some prophets, and some evangelists, and some pastors, and teachers. For what purpose? Hmm. For the perfecting of what? The saints. How many of you are saints in here? Yes. Amen. 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 You're not peasants. You're not beggars. Amen. You're not pilgrims. Thank you. Yeah. We're saints. You know what a saint is? A governmental official. Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> he gave some of those for the perfecting of the saints, for the working or the igniting of the ministry, for the edifying of the body of Christ, till we all come into the unity of faith and the knowledge of the Son of God, unto a perfect man, unto the measure of the stature of the fullness. Everybody say fullness. fullness. What did he fill? Everything. Everything. Of Christ. <laughs> Resurrection brought a paradigm shift. Things were bad before. Would you agree? Yes. yes. You just have to look at your Bible and see that. But it brought a paradigm shift from life based on the past. Everything about life before the cross was based on the past. Mm -hmm. Would you all agree? Mm -hmm. We're always... Asking forgiveness for something. We had to. We were always messing up. Oh, yeah. Now, don't get me wrong. We still mess up now, but we'll get to that, okay? But before the cross, life was based on the past. But after the cross, after the grave, and after the resurrection, are you ready? Life is set on prophetic purpose and promise. Oh, yeah. Amen. 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 But what we need now is grace. Because mercy is applicable to what you did wrong and need to get corrected. Grace is for the future. Very good. Amen. Grace is designed for purpose set ahead. Amen. We're no longer babies. Amen. No longer pleading for mercy. But we've come into a stature, amen, of the risen Christ. So we've got to, oh, I hope you hear this today. We've got to come out of the mercy mentality and come into a grace mentality. Amen? Because grace is not just something you get when you're in trouble. Mercy is what you need when you're in trouble. <laughs> Does that make sense? <laughs> now, we still need mercy today, but it's not because we live in mercy. No. It's because we still mess up. Yeah. Right. Yeah. But we don't live in messing up. Are you all right? Amen. Yeah. Amen. But what we need now is grace. Grace is set for your prophetic destiny. Anybody still believe you have one? Amen. Yes, yes sir. Anybody ready to get on with it? Yes, Amen. sir. Why am I stuck? Because you're stuck thinking in mercy. Grace is set for the future, therefore it makes it sufficient for today. Yes. Mm. Ah. Grace is set into your prophetic, God-given purpose. It's what you're becoming, but God says you already are. Mm. He doesn't place His grace on something that's not moving in His will. Mm. He puts His grace on what is lining up to His will. Mm. Oh, come on, somebody. Yeah. 
So what he's saying is, my grace is sufficient for you today because you're seeing it's taking you somewhere ahead. How many believe his grace is sufficient for right where you're at? Yes. Yeah. Why is it sufficient? Because it's taking me where I'm going. That's right. Mercy can only take me and try to uh, atone for what I did wrong. That's right. Grace takes me ahead as though it's assuming I'll do what's right. That's right. Mm -hmm. We are a prophetic framework set on an apostolic foundation. You tear us down, we'll come back up higher. You tear us down, we'll just come back up higher. Amen? The house is not what we're worshiping. We're worshiping God. You know, most of the reason why you're frustrated is because your season has changed and you didn't change. If he allowed you to get all settled in what he did, you'd never see what he's doing. Because what he's doing is even greater than what he did. Because what makes the latter house greater...